Listen, I got something pretty cool to show you. If you're into aviation, you'll really like it. And if you're in agriculture, you'll be like, hey, how do we get some of those for our tractor? But check this out. It's nothing new to have LED lights on airplanes. It's been around for a long, long time. Replace the old school light bulb, like what you would think a light bulb would be. And they weren't very reliable with LED. It's a lot better light, has a lot of great advantages, but technology changes over time. So get this, my aircraft has been outfitted with standard power LED lights. That's nothing really new. But tonight, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm gonna do a test comparing the new technology. And these bad boys, they're pretty amazing. So here's my plan. Along with picking a nice evening in central Illinois, I put the stock powered LED lights back in the airplane. I've got two GoPro cameras. This is a Hero 8. I've got it on a really nifty little mount there that does a pretty good job with vibration. That's particularly important, especially at night. That's even harder yet. And then inside the aircraft, right above me in the center of the cabin, I've got the new GoPro Hero Max, which is the 3D or 360 degree camera, but I'm only using the front camera for this test. So uh, it's, it's going to be a pretty neat test. I'm looking forward to sharing you this footage. So here is the standard LEDs. Now this is shot from my iPhone 11 Pro, and obviously it does a good job enhancing night imagery. So it's going to give you the best of the best. And you can see this, this light does a formidable job. I mean, it, it does a great job. Things lit up very well, uses a lot less power like all LED lights. And for most of us, this is what we've had on our airplanes the last, my goodness, 15 years. I don't know how long they've been out, but a long time. But you know me, I'm always looking for that next bit of technology. So let's do a couple. These are sped up too. So this is the camera inside the cabin. And this is sped up. And I, I think I sped it up two times or maybe even a little more than that just to make the pain a little less of a Cessna approach. But there you can see the light coming in. And you know, it does a nice job. Same way out on the wing. What I want you to notice is when you start picking up the light on the runway, it'll come in in just a second. There it comes in right there. And again, as you land the aircraft, that light becomes brighter as you get right next to the ground. So the other thing I did is when I was taxiing back, I just took my smartphone and just moved out. And you can see it does a nice job. Obviously, when you look at the lenses side by side, you can see that the, the new technology, if you would, the new light, it's got a lot more diodes in it. There's a lot more things going on. And if you hold them, you can certainly tell there's a lot more mass in that light as well. So after the first test, I came in and took the cover off the aircraft, and I didn't change any of the focal points, I just or the adjustments of the light. I just swapped out the lenses, as you can see here. Not too bad of a job. I think this whole process, including all the messing with cameras, probably took three and a half, four hours. And then the same thing. This is from my iPhone, and you can clearly see this is brighter. And obviously, everybody wants to see this view. This is the cabin view. Notice when you start seeing light on the runway. There it is there already. And obviously, we're not even touched down yet. Boy, that's a fast approach on a Cessna, right? And then the same thing out on the wing. Check out this wing. Again, look where you start to see light on the runway. There it is now. So that's a pretty sizable upgrade. So, but the only way to really see that is to get them side by side, which we'll have here in just a second. But I want you to notice this. This is taxiing back right here. Look at how wide that light path is. That's just that I can't tell you how awesome that is from sitting in the in the left seat in the airplane. I mean, what a great addition. So let's check out the side by side. So same thing. I took those same clips and I've just positioned them next to each other and timed them as best as I can. The arrow LED in this case is on the left, but just notice when you start seeing light on the runway. You know, that's going to be about right. Just right now you can see it. You don't see that yet on the right hand side for quite a while. And for something you just bolt on the airplane, that's pretty impressive, guys. And it really shows here, once you get on the ground, just how much more light. And when I say more light, I, I really mean volume of light that these are putting on. And same scenario here. Look at when you see, you're already starting to see a little bit of light on the bottom. That's where the LED right there. And then look how much longer it takes to get any more light on that on the top. There it comes in now. So again, same scenario. But the thing I'm excited about is when you see advancements in technology, 
You know, I spend a lot of my time doing a lot of great things in technology in the agriculture space, and obviously I'm an active pilot as well. And I love when you can go buy a piece of new technology, put it on, and see this kind of raw performance. And when I tell you raw performance, guys, this thing is bright, really bright. Now, I've got an alternator on my aircraft. I did notice that too, and the gauge didn't move with either one of these lights, so obviously it's not using a lot of power. But in closing, I want you to check this out. This is side-by-side -side departing runway 20, and check this out. Look at the difference. And these are in real time right here, so I'll just go ahead and let this play out. But thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're like me, man, I was looking for a video like this before I decided on the commitment to buy these lights because they're not cheap. But you get what you pay for, and the performance is outstanding.